place. The stories. The music you love. BBC Coventry and Warwickshire. He loves teasing me that one. Little mink, little mink. Uh, keep letting me know this morning when it comes to a, a good book. Are you on my side? Would you prefer picking up a bit of romance? Or are you with the masses this morning? This research out today to say crime fiction is the number one genre uh, when it comes to British reading. What is good about reading about murder and doom and gloom? I mean, when you could have love and romance and gorgeousness and balloons and kisses and hugs. Uh, so do let me know where you stand when it comes to uh, reading books. I'm not a great book reader, but if I was going to read a book, it'd be romance all the way. 0800 75 65 200. That's our new free phone number. Uh, good to see some of you calling in right now. You can call in uh, from landlines and mobile my mobiles and it's free 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 all day long now as alec mentioned there in the news oh yes we are going all royal well historically royal a, a dj from the midlands is preparing to go on a nationwide tour with a twist yeah daniel williams is so fascinated by the history of king charles the first He's decided to dress up as the monarch and will travel the UK in a bid to teach others about his story. So let's find out a bit more, shall we? Good morning, Daniel. Good morning to you. Uh, you are of sound mind, yes? <laughs> I, well, I certainly hope so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so come on then, what, what's so great about King Charles I? Well, King Charles I, what can I say? Um, four years ago, went to Carisbrook Castle and started to learn a lot about his history and... It's quite amazing, to be honest. Uh, a lot of it never gets talked about, which quite surprised me. And I was thinking, it needs to be sorted, this does. And okay. it totally needs to be done. All right, OK. Well, you could have picked many uh, celebrities, royal or not. <laughs> <laughs> the, That's the, Im true. the image I have of uh, Charles I, because we didn't do him in bars or school here in Coventry, it was either one with the long hair and the big floppy hat. That's correct, yes. The, the modern romance look or... How you call it. OK, all right. So you, you go to this castle, you learn all about him. What makes you want to go from that sort of, you know, pleasant day out to dressing like him? It's, it's mad. It didn't happen straight away. Um, but it's sort of like built up, really. Um, just the fascination with the time. and But also wanting to be part of the buildings, uh, being in the buildings in character and... Uh, and also bringing history to life for the public, really, because... I, I think it's great. My kids, well, if they're a bit younger, they'd love it. So you're going to go on this nationwide tour. Uh, so you're obviously going to be coming to Coventry, I'm sure. That's correct, yes. But, but saying that, though, Charles was actually not allowed into Coventry. He actually had the gate shut on him. Oh, why uh, was that? This was at the start of the English Civil War. And um, basically, Coventry, from what I can gather, sided with Parliament at the time. And so Charles ended up going to Stonely Abbey which is actually featured in Ben Godfrey, Godfrey's fantastic uh, uh, interview. OK. Oh, well, because yeah, it's on Midlands Today a bit later on. Are you on the telly later on? That's right, yes. Great. All in your regal regalia? Certainly am, yes. Tights, <laughs> tights and all? Uh, not tights, but yes, definitely uh, King Charles I look uh, anyway. <laughs> OK. Uh, so how long will this tour take you, Daniel? So the tour... Um, it has no end, really, I suppose, because there's so many destinations which surprise me the more I like learned about Charles. Uh, that he's actually been to, which goes from anything to like um, hotels, even um, right through to places like Hampton Court and um, even St James's Palace. I've actually sent a letter to the Queen. No, any reply? Yeah. Oh my gosh, did you get a reply? Not yet, but um, I did a little Google search, found an address that you could actually send a letter to the Queen and everything, and apparently she takes great interest in her mail. And so, fingers crossed, oh. I've asked, with, with the look of the gods, if uh, I could go to St. James's Palace and maybe have a picture there, at least, or something oh, like that. But... That would be great. How, how, how do you think you'll be received? Will people sort of get you, or they just think, actually, this guy's a bit strange? What do you think? <laughs> how, how, I mean, you must have had a bit of rehearsal. You've obviously dressed up as him. Uh, how have people taken you? That's right. I am mesmerised, to be honest. Um, I only had one strange incident um, when I first uh, walked through Oxford. Um, I was again. I was going to Christchurch Cathedral, and uh, Charles used to worship in Christchurch Cathedral. He actually lived in in Christchurch yeah. as well during the English Civil War uh, in Oxford. And um, I was actually walking through the town centre to get to the destination in question, and a lady stopped me and said, "Are you in the pantomime?" Oh, and, bless uh, 
at the time, I was like quite tempted to go along with it, but I thought no. So I just turned around to him and said, "I'm oh, King Charles the First, Madam." Uh, yes. And, and carried on walking, and um, and so it's great like that. Um, but yeah, you do get you do probably get the odd little look up from people or whatever. But um, I think people can gather there's something historical going on. Well, I think it's fantastic. <laughs> we need we need more people like you, Daniel, to be fascinated with history. Uh, but can I just say, I, I do I've just I, I do know he has a bit of a bad end, doesn't he, King Charles the First? He yes. lost his he lost his head, didn't he? Most unfortunately, yes. Oh dear, so obviously you will be keeping yours firmly on your neck. I sincerely hope so. <laughs> OK, so when are you coming to Coventry? So Coventry, um, well, actually filmed up there, obviously, like, like, like that way for, for the Stonely Abbey feature. Yes, tonight. But, um, but also, yes, I do want to come back to Coventry and, uh, and so I'll be looking at um, some destinations around there and... Uh, do a bit of networking. Wonderful. Well, please come to BBC Coventry and Warwick. I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you in your regalia. It's a wonderful story. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you very much indeed. Daniel Williams. Uh, you'll hear, you'll see his story on Midlands tonight at 6.30 here on BBC One. It's 20 minutes to nine. We'll find out with Vic uh, what she's up to in just a moment. But let's speak to Veronica. Morning. Morning, Trish. How are you? I'm fine, love. Thank you.